Yeah, good day YouTube. Um, as I already told you, um, YouTube enabled me to create videos longer than 15 minutes, <coughs> which um, enables me uh, to make longer tutorials. And in this little tutorial, I will show how to make a PCB. Um, this is the layout software we can see here. Um, the circuit is um, it's an AVR programming tool. It's the USB ASP use BESP or whatever programmer from from Thomas Fischl. Um, and I created a new layout for that. This is the circuit. So the circuit is uh, I copied the circuit and made a layout myself. This is the layout. So this is um, the PCB we want to do. It's a single-sided PCB. You can see this uh, because the bridges on the top side are all straight. So it's a single-sided PCB. There's copper only on the bottom side. Um, what we do, a little trick, um, we use um, um, a film, make a film from this PCB uh, and uh, <coughs> to spare ourselves little resources. Um, I've copied the layout three times and this is three times the, the same layout. Yeah, what you do in, in, in Eagle is um, you print this out. This layout you print out on a foil. I've prepared this, it's already done. This would take a little too long. <laughs> so this is it. This is our film. It's a positive film. And uh, we hold it against the light to check out its quality. It's a double film, which means um, you can see the glue here. It's glued together. Um, I use two copies of the same film and glue it together. Um, this makes the thing a little more light resistant, and this is very important for a good layout. So, change the setting, put the camera down. What would have we to do next? I have this tutorial on my homepage, although it's in German language, um, that describes all this in a, little, in a little more detail. This is my video tutorial. Um, this is the exposing machine, and this is the PCB, which is a Bunger PCB. Um, the blue coating is uh, actually a protective coating uh, to protect uh, the PCB from light before it is developed or exposed. Now um, I mount the film. That's the first thing I have to do. And a good thing about those <coughs> 15 or more minutes is that I actually can take it a little more easy, although the video will get very big and the transcode isn't able to transcode it into a format for YouTube, which means this will take me well, a long time to get up on YouTube and this quality. So something is very important now, we have to mount the film um, in the right, on the right side, which will be this side, so it must be mirrored. Otherwise, we have a mirrored uh, layout on our, uh, on our PCB, and that's the last thing we want. So, because we could, we would have to throw it away <laughs> in such a case. Yeah. Use uh, the tape to fit to mount it to fix the film. Yeah, that's good. So, the exposure time is 3 minutes 40 seconds, which is a good value for those uh, bungered material, for this bungered material. And um, this will take 3 minutes and 40. So now I remove the protective coat carefully. And this is the raw PCB. We can do this at daylight because um, 
PCB is only um, sensitive to very strong ultraviolet light, which uh, we don't have sources here, so short exposure is, is okay. So I start the, uh, start the exposure, and in the meantime, the uh, rest of the tutorial will be done here. Mount camera again. All space is at a premium here. I hope that once I finish my studies, I can move out here and get myself something better, something bigger, so I can actually create myself a little laboratory or something like that. A separate room with all the stuff. So this is where we develop and etch the PCB. Oh. So I need a little water. Oh, well, hand warm water. So and the positive developer we use is natrium hydroxide. It's in here. Well, how much you use is, is a little experience. Um, yeah, that, that's all right. That's all right. But don't ask me about ten grams a liter, something like that. But nobody goes actually around and meshes the stuff. Uh, I do. I don't. So I don't put gla gloves on uh, because uh, the stuff isn't so, I mean, you get used to it, <laughs> you know what I mean? If you want to develop uh, a number of PCBs, say four or five at a time, use gloves because this stuff it gets, gets under your skin. It dries out your skin. It's a very strong base. On this um, uh, destroys um, the fat um, coating of your skin and makes it dry. So, this is our developing bath. The PCB will take another minute. Wow, another minute. Now what we do in the meantime. We could fix the other bath. Okay, let's do it this way. I use hydrochloric acid and this is the old brew, used brew can be used as a cataclysm and a little fresh water a drop and what we also will always need, be very careful if you don't use, use gloves, this stuff is very, you need uh, corrosion resistant gloves like those, um, the stuff is very, very, very sharp and very unfriendly to your skin. Now new acid and it fumes out. So. You see, you can actually feel, see the fumes, so this is why I go back, not to inhale the fumes. You can use, actually, you can use quite a lot. I mean, hydrochloric acid is quite inexpensive, it's three bucks, three euros for, for a complete liter. And then, it wouldn't work like that, we need hydrogen peroxide and I use uh, yeah, and this much.
the right mixture, mixture is it? I mean I use a lot and you will see this will make up for a very quick acting bath makes the video shorter you know so our PCB is now um, exposed and ready to be developed in this bath um, you probably can see yeah if you look closely you can see that um, the photo finish has changed in color where the um, well traces are supposed to be so put on a glove let's do it so kids at home can do it too <laughs> And it, it comes off right away. Yeah. That'll make up for a for a good result. Will it? Yeah. I mean, good thing about making three at a time is that if one is isn't comes out too well, you can at least use the other two. So this is why I sometimes or often um, use a, re a redundant layout. So it's all right. It shouldn't take longer than this. If it takes a lot longer than, say, a minute or say two, then something wasn't so grand. So, this is now the developed PCB. The parts of the copper which are free must be free and shiny and no residue on, on the, it must be, it must shine like it does. Problem is you can see it too well because um, of the lighting and everything, the contrast is very bad. But um, you check it out and um, you can always put it in another time but yeah it's good it's very good i water it now so that's just this is a little experience i mean to get it right it's the measurements it's the time it's now let's etch. You see how it changes color rapidly? And uh, while you etch it still will feel out. So one thing about etching with hydrochloric acid. Um, if it throws too much bubbles on the PCB you lose too much of the oxidizer, too much of the hydrogen peroxide. Um, if it turns whitish rather than yeah well brownish or even darkish here, um, you use there's not enough um, acid. And be very careful not to spill anything. Um, and not just whip it around a little. This little tutorial will uh, stop um, after etching. Of course, after you etch the PCB, you will have to cut it in pieces uh, using a saw or whatever you use. And uh, yeah, drill it and all the stuff. We could tin it. Yeah, that's what we could do. But let's etch it now. Um, the bath is, bath is very good because it already starts to come off. I haven't stopped the time but I don't think this will take more than a few minutes. Always problem when you etch is um, one of the problems is uh, certainly these large parts here which will always take a long time to come off. So if you would do it very well you would cover those. But yeah, well, that's. See how the copper comes off? 
Hydrochloric acid makes for a very good edge factor because it is so uh, quick acting. And um, one thing about etching, the quicker it goes, the better is the, is the result because it prevents under etching. It's all almost done. <laughs> See how fast this goes? Now this will make up for about a 15 minute video, long enough. <coughs> yeah, well, don't put your nose in. Go back. And once you've done, or maybe before, open the door. Fresh ventilation. In summer you would do this outside, it's better. It's almost done. Yeah, it's almost done. It would have been done already. Yeah, very good. Oh, that's good. Very good. Sometimes, um, with hydrochloric acid, it, it goes so quickly that it uh, leaves some bridges you don't see. So, visually control the result at the end. And... I hold it against the light, against the light source, I do this, you won't see it now, and check it out, and say it's great. Now this is the result. It's the edged PCB. Yeah, now I can see it against the light source, a weak light source, and you can check it for bridges or something you don't want on your layout. Check it carefully because um, you can always put it in and finish it. Uh, this is a very good result. I mean, I guess homemade, this is just about as good as it gets. I don't think it. you can do a lot better than that. It's, it's very good. Well, in Germany we say Eigenlob stinkt, but um, yeah, well, never mind. It's still good. Yeah, this is it. You store the brew for later, for the next use, because it is a cataclysm. If you use a little bit of the used brew, it will go faster. Yeah, this is it. Um, thanks for watching one more time. See you soon, and if you have a suggestion for a video, let me know.